Yesterday, D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine made it known that a major announcement will be made today regarding the investigation of the Washington commanders. That was a surprise for everyone. It messes with a report from the Washington Post from October 17 that Racine was approaching the end of his investigation. We'll find out today. A lot of times, Chris, you get a major announcement and it falls flat. So we'll see how major this announcement is. But it got the attention of the commanders. They issued a statement, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I think the first paragraph to. was com completely okay i will yeah less than three months ago a 23 year old player on our team was shot multiple times in broad daylight despite the out of control violent crime in dc today the washington commanders learned for the first time on twitter that the dc attorney general will be holding a press conference to make a major announcement related to the uh, organization tomorrow. The commanders have fully cooperated with the attorney general's investigation for nearly a year. As recently as Monday, a lawyer for the team met with the AG who did not suggest at that time that he intended to take any action and in fact revealed fundamental misunderstandings of the underlying facts. It's unfortunate that in his final days in office, Mr. Racine appears more interested in making splashy headlines based on offbeat legal theories rather than doing the hard work of making the streets safe for our citizens, including bringing justice to the people who shot one of our players. I, look, it's never a good idea to antagonize a prosecutor, which is what the second paragraph does. But get the hell out of here and never come back with that first paragraph. Go away, Dan Snyder, and never return. You're done. You're gone. I don't know what the purpose of that was. I don't know who they're trying to get on their side. You know, usually that kind of stuff, Chris, is aimed at pandering to your base. Right. We see that in politics all the time. It's the what the about. Time. It's the They'll what be, about mentality. Right, right. right. Yeah. And, and it works if you have a base. Right. It only works if you have someone who will take it and say, right on. Yeah, you go. There's nobody that's going to say that. So he's going to piss off everyone other than his base that doesn't exist. It is the worst statement, the most tone deaf effort I've ever seen. And the blame ultimately goes to Daniel Snyder, unless and until we get a statement from Daniel Snyder saying that statement that was sent last night was completely wrong. It never should have happened. I take full responsibility and I'm sorry. Until that happens, it's on him and he needs to get up and get the hell out of here for good. <laughs> Man, I love it. I love it, Mike. Damn, that's about as like jacked up as I've seen you get in a while right there. I, I, I don't disagree with anything you said there. I mean, it's just it's so shallow and cheap shot and bratty. It just uh, it, it it any box you want to throw out there, you could check it right there. Yeah, no, we've done issues, we've got problems, we did issues. How dare you look about it? What about this? There's a problem over here, and yeah. you're not fixing that. That's that's great. Yeah. They are fixing that. They made arrests last week, right? Am I wrong about that? They did. They right. made two arrests. No, they're, 14 14 they're making arrests. Seventeen year old. Now we got to get back to you and you know your crappy business dealings. I mean, that's what we got to do. And and the, what, the what crappy argument, way. Though. What right. a great argument. There, there's plenty of other crime out there, so don't pay attention to mine. Yeah, I, I that's, know. That's what, basically what he's saying. That's exactly it. But that's the, it, it, to your point earlier, that's kind of where we're at right now. It's, it's, it's with all – that's all arguments. Wait, do, how dare you call me out for the things I did wrong? I just it's, – it's craziness. It is. And it's just not a good look, and it's insensitive, and there's no reason to bring Brian Robinson back into this conversation or make him a part of this. And it's not apples to apples apples here it's got nothing to do with it and again like the reports were out there and we knew this was coming why because the guy was in your in the building the other day and he wasn't going hey we're gonna do something to you because he agreed that there might have been oh there's an issue here an issue here you thought you were gonna get what like a a soft landing here just because you know he admitted there was a falsity here or there well he might have found the truth in like 70 other different spots too so what what does all that mean? It's just it's a stupid statement and it has to be, you know, approved by Dan Snyder. And especially what we saw the other night with his comment off of Jim Ursay and all that stuff, it would be hard for me to think this isn't approved by him. So of course this falls on him. Well, either it is approved by him, which is bad, 
or it isn't, which is worse. It was also bad. Because it shows right, he right. doesn't have any control over yeah. his organization. There's right. no good explanation here. Brian Robinson's agent, Ryan Williams, said this on Twitter. Up until an hour ago, the commanders handled the Brian Robinson situation with so much care, sincerity, and class. And I was so grateful for all of it. Although I know that there are some great humans in that building, whoever is hiding behind this statement is not one of them. Well, we know that Snyder is. All these statements are aimed at him. See, this isn't about catering to some non-existent Dan Snyder fan club. This is about the people who get paid by Snyder making him happy. How do we make the emperor happy? We have to be tough. He wants us to be tough. He wants us to go out there and fight. So the statement Really, the audience was Dan Snyder. He wants to see that these people he's paying this good money to are fighting on his behalf because no one else is. And it's just horribly tone deaf, horribly executed, an awful message, and all the more reason he cannot sell that team soon enough, Chris. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't disagree with, with the, really any of that, Mike. I mean, it's it's just – and, like, to again, to – Right. If you are going to keep the organization and you do want to maybe build a stadium in D.C. again and revive the Washington Commanders tradition and all that, do you really think that's the way to go about it? Like that's going to make you friends in the area to be like, yeah, we'll buy it. We'll build a stadium for you. That That's where I just don't understand. Uh, I, I don't I don't get the logic there. And, and hey, I don't know. Hey, maybe he's come to the resign to the fact that he's selling this thing and then it doesn't matter anymore. Well, but Chris, Chris, even if he is, I mean, think about it. If you're trying to get top dollar for your house, you're not going to set the roof on fire. I mean, you want to preserve the asset. You want to make it as attractive as possible. Yeah, you don't true. want to do even more damage that the new owner has to undo with local politicians and business leaders. I mean, do, do, we're assuming that a new owner is going to be greeted with open arms like Dorothy dropping a house on the Wicked Witch of the East. But... Yeah, the, the the worse you make it, it's just more stuff that the next owner is going to have to deal with. Now, there's one more wrinkle to this, too, because Jason Wright, the team's president, issued a statement that kind of retreated, kind of walked back, tried to put the toothpaste back in the tube, saying that he spoke to the police chief of the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department, conveying how much we support their work as well as public safety leaders and elected officials working to reduce gun violence and crime across the region. The earlier statement expressed our external counsel's ongoing frustration with the attorney general's office as they have been nothing but earnest and transparent in their communications with his team. The lawyer's legitimate frustrations with the AG should have been separate and apart from referencing the terrible crime that affected our player. I guess that's an apology without saying I'm sorry, but you know what, Chris, here's the other wrinkle, and somebody pointed this out to me today. I, I can't say who, but I'm not going to take credit for the thought. It's not an original thought, and I wish it had been. There's no way in hell Jason Wright didn't see that statement. And again, if he didn't, something's wrong. If the team president didn't see that statement, something's wrong. Chances are he did see it, and he didn't say, we can't send this out. I, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I'm going to buy that. You know, again, you think he didn't see it? I don't. I wouldn't be shocked that Daniel Snyder just uh, he's running the then team. Then why is he the president of the and, team? Then well, it's a meaningless title. He's well, not the president. Yeah, I, I, with stuff like this, I hear you. But I, I mean, this is one I wouldn't be shocked if Daniel Snyder just releases that and period, and there's nothing there. I, 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 I wouldn't be shocked by that. I mean, again, this, there's. This, is, no, this reminds me of the Colts. Jason Wright should just get up and leave. And again, it's easy to say that when you're not the one who has to pay his mortgage. But just like those Colts assistant coaches, that way it's just like you know, if, you, if you're not if you're not going to run this by me, if you're going to give me the title of team president, and this is just some sort of a of a gesture, it's not real. If I'm really not the president of the team, and you're going to run this stuff around me, and I'm not going to see it, sorry, find another president, find somebody else that you're going to give a meaningless title to. No, I, I I know, but you know, as we talk about too with this, there's only so many of these jobs, and there's only so many of these jobs that pay that kind of money, and that's where. You know, I feel for guys like Jason Wright where, yeah, you, you take the job. You're never mad at the guy for taking the job. We get it. It's a tough situation. As you said, I mean, it's, it's the most dysfunctional team in sports. So for me to sit here and think that maybe Daniel Snyder didn't, you know, run by the releasing of a statement 
about something that he feels personally attacked about through Jason Wright, if you told me that didn't happen, I, w- I wouldn't be shocked. I have no knowledge of that, but I would not be shocked, right? I mean, I, could I see that statement being released? Jason Wright looking at it going, what the hell are we doing? Miss, you know, Mr. Snyder, this is an issue. We can't say this and do this. This is not a good look for our organization. And then them going, well, then fine. You put out a statement. I mean, could I see those things happen? Of course yeah. I could. Of course. I, there's too many stories. I mean, this is Daniel Snyder. It's the guy who, you know, trades for Donovan McNabb without asking coaches or trades draft picks to, to get the number two pick to get RG3. He does whatever he wants. He doesn't care. So that's where, you know, I could see anything happening in this situation. It's also possible that Jason Wright did see the statement and his reaction to it was based on the fact that there was such a strong outcry against it. So they had to. That's do right, something. too. Right. And, right. And again, why isn't it in Snyder's name? Why is Wright the one that's got to 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 be the messenger with the kind of sort of apology? Why isn't the person who owns the team the one saying we shouldn't have made reference to Brian Robinson, you know, they didn't even use his name. It's just weird. The whole thing about it was weird. It's depressing. It's sad and predictable. Chris, you're right. All this stuff just fits with what a mess that organization has been. And as I said earlier, he cannot sell the team soon enough. Please, Jeff Bezos, you're our only hope. <laughs> Please write the check. I mean, come on. You got $120 billion. It's a good investment. Give the guy $7 billion to go away. And we're gonna we're gonna hope, we're gonna hope that that you're not as bad as him. Although Bezos has been in the public eye long enough that if he was, we'd know it by now. Yeah, I think that's true too. I, I don't know. It, it, by all due accounts, it seems like we're going that direction. At least the direction of Daniel Snyder is gonna sell this thing eventually. Uh And I think it'll be good for him and probably good for the NFL altogether. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.